We are down on the rocks. And we've got a new bait bag. Check that out. <laughs> Made that today. Our buckets were a bit frail, so we've got a nice mesh bag and hopefully we get a conga to chew on this bad boy. Our crab pot's down here that we put down yesterday. We can't see much, eh, mate? No, it doesn't look like there's anything in it. <laughs> it might be. Uh, we're going to check it anyway. It doesn't look great, but we can't see the bottom bit, so fingers crossed. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, What's, oh, there is a lobster. <laughs> it didn't look like there was. We couldn't see the bottom half of it. That's pretty decent, mate. I don't think that's a keeper, though. It's going to be close. I don't think it... Oh, I don't know. It'd be very close. Where there was a little dark patch just I under here, guys. And we couldn't even see it. We've been down here a couple of minutes looking at it and couldn't see her lobster at <laughs> all, though. Hidden in, <clears throat> hidden in the weed. Is it a keeper, though? Those flies just go in your mouth. They're horrible. Check that out. Nice little Larry. Check that bad boy out. Not bad. You want to check him? we got a gauge there. He's got a long body on him, see? That yeah, yeah, that's one, it. Yeah. Nah, God. Just out, yeah, like, close. A meal or two. Oh, what a shame. Nice no, sound though. At least we've got a lobster. Chirping. Nice one. Next time, hopefully, we get a keeper. <laughs> We're going for a bit of strategy today, guys. We're hopefully going to bring in the monsters. So, what I've got is some bags of Orma guts. This is loads of Ormas just bagged up. All the guts. You can see the juice in that. I've kept it frozen for a reason because this stuff is slimy and it gets everywhere. But the scent bomb that's going to give is going to be amazing. We've got a nice big bass head. And then in there, we've got more Orma guts. And we've got a big Pollock head and a few mackerel heads. I didn't realize how much fish heads I actually had with me. <laughs> Check that out. That's gonna be major chum. As you can see, the bag is definitely full. <laughs> but that's what's gonna bring the congas out. So there you go, it's at its capacity. Let's get in the water. That's a beast. We've just walked the pot back over to the other side now, so it's not in the way of us. So you can see we've got a big deep well here and we've seen a lot of lobsters on this corner so we're just going to throw it in there and we'll pick it up at the end of the session. Yeah. And hopefully it's a lucky lobster. This is a sketchy place to walk around, eh mate? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not, not recommended. No, highly not recommended to run around on, well I'm not saying run and crawl around on really slippery rocks like this. They've all got a green sort of algae on them, so they are, they're like ice boulders. But there's some huge prawns down here. That's why Sam's got the prawn net. Got a nice one down here, guys. It's just shown up. It's a beast. Not a huge, but first one to show up. They're like in the Orma guts. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. We're gonna catch you, my friend. So I got a big clip swivel there, guys. I got a 200 pound trace to an 8 hook and all we do is stick a big fish head on and hope that a monster comes out the rocks and then it's game on after that eh mate oh yeah oh yeah check this out guys there's a nice ear there come on come and eat it you can smell it, look at that. Staring me right in the face. See if we can get him right up. It's a nice eel that. I wouldn't say it's 20 pound. It's a lovely one. Oh, look at that, he's taken it. He hasn't swallowed the hook yet. He's got the hook. Got it. Whoa. Yeah, baby. First one of the night. <laughs> Going for gold. What a beast. Check that out, guys. I'll just give Sam the camera to get you a better show. That's the beauty of an eel. This is a beast. Nice one. It's a nice eel, that one. Give that a good 15 pound for sure. Look at him, he's taking a wee. <laughs> Look at that, lovely eel to start with. We've seen a little one as well. We haven't seen no really like big monsters yet, but that's a great start. He was literally just about to swim under the rock and then I chucked the mackerel head straight in front of him. Look at that, we nailed him, what a beast. Gave a good fight this one. 
All right, let's get it back. We want bigger. The death roll. That's a lovely eel. If it goes in a minute, there you go. Straight back down in the rocks. Hopefully, it causes grandma to come out. <laughs> good start to the night, eh, mate? That was a nice eel, mate. Well done. Yeah, it wasn't bad. That gave a good scrap for the size of it as well. Hey, there's a hell of a lot bigger down here somewhere. Hopefully they come out. The congas definitely do a number on you picking them up like that. <laughs> All part of the fun though. One down. Obster down here, guys. Come on. He knows you're living. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be about four pounds for sure. Yeah, for sure. That's massive. Maybe bigger. Look, Look at, at the size, size of, of it. that. Do you reckon you can get in behind it? No, no way. Oh, oh, no. oh, that was huge. That was big. We're heading back to the crab pot now, guys. We missed a, a, a lobster that was at least four pounds. It was an absolute giant. Twice we nearly got it in the shrimp net, and twice it swerved out of it. <laughs> but fair play, that's why that lobster's huge. It's avoided everything. Go for it, mate. Oh, it's a trek, eh? There's a lobster in it. There is an awesome beast. <laughs> oh, no way. It's got a little claw. How long have we been? About what? A few hours? An oh, hour it's a keeper. An hour and a half. Maybe? That's, a, that's an actual keeper as well. It's a nice one. <laughs> Catch and cook, baby. <laughs> what a beast. I actually didn't expect that. I didn't expect it either. It's old bait as well. This is the same bait as yesterday. So we've had a small lobster and a big lobster. I nice. Think fresh bait and then leave it here overnight that's it see what we get tomorrow got one lobster down i'm gonna eat that tonight or do you want it sam oh no i'm fine thank you okay mate you can have it <laughs> more for me that's a nice lobster that one it's check that one. out it's a little cool so there you go guys i'm just wiping the lens that's one beauty of a lobster right there big female Cool. Yeah, not as big as the one we've seen though, the four pounder, eh? Oh, definitely not as big, no. <laughs> but there you go, we've got the measure. Look at that. It's in by about 10 mil. God, that's in a mile, sure. mate. Nice yeah, one. we're going to munch on that one, guys. Happy days. Hopefully, when I come back tomorrow, we get a bigger one. That is a solid old lobster, that one. That's a beauty. What I'm doing with this video, guys, I'm showing you all the catches over a three day period. So see what we can catch. We've already got two lobsters down. We've, we've caught one conger, about 15 pounds. So we're off to a good start. What a beast. We're putting fresh scad in this, guys. You can't beat any oily sort of fish. Mackerel, scad, garfish. It all does really well. Other fish does well as well. They'll eat anything, these things, but can't wait to eat this. Oh. We're back at the bag. One lobster down. We haven't seen a lot of congas here tonight. So what we're gonna do, if we don't see anything else tonight, guys, all we're gonna do is tie the uh, chum bag into this gully where it can't go anywhere. We'll be back tomorrow for more. The chum bag is all tied off now, guys. We're not really seeing a lot more. We've seen a tiny little conga, and that's about it. So what we're gonna do is tie it off, loads of scent overnight, and hopefully, when I come down here tomorrow, we catch nothing but monsters. We've just seen a massive lobster down here, guys. So we haven't left yet. And Sam needed some bait, and there was a, a pout literally just floating along the water. <laughs> so he scooped it up. <laughs> it's mine. It's like the god said to us, we need to catch this lobster. <laughs> and we are back in the spot. Got a big bag of uh, horse mackerel today. Still a little bit frozen, but perfect for this. I pulled up the chum bag because it was down here it dried out so i untied it which was a nightmare but the bag has been definitely messed with the rope was jammed into the side of these rocks so hopefully it's just drawn in the congas and kept them around here i'm just going to freshen up the chum bag a little bit i've got a couple of horse mackerel here they're still frozen so i'm going to save the rest for a little bit later on because we're quite early on the tide tonight come on you beauties Hopefully there's some bigger congas around tonight. 
last night. There wasn't a lot around, but there was tons of lobsters. Be happy with a nice big lobster. We've already got one cooked and it's already in the fridge. So we might eat that if we don't catch anything. But uh, I wouldn't mind a fresh one. Ali -oop. I've kept it in the uh, deeper part at the moment because the tide is a lot lower today. As you can see, I've about three, three or four foot of water. But this is perfect for the shrimp net, so fingers crossed we can get some. We have nearly arrived at the crab pot. It's literally just round here. You can see it there. Don't know if there's anything in it. It's quite dark where we threw it. We threw it a bit further than we did the first time. So we will see. Alright, come on you beast. I think there's a spider crab in it or a brown crab. I can see something in it there. Alright, let's find out. We got some spider crabs, there's a lobster as well. <laughs> we got another lobster. That's a keeper as well. Two spider crabs, a lady crab, and another keeper. You beauty. Definitely worth having this crab pot down. I've seen a lobster claw, so one was probably latched on the side. Nice. Look at that, guys. We've got our keeper lobster. Let's get it open. You beauty. Look at that, nice male. There we go, guys. Female spider crab there. We're having a lot of luck on the crabs in this crab pot, that's for sure. This place isn't fished much with crab pots because you're not allowed bobbers here. So it is pretty untouched. But the amount of lobsters we see here when we're foraging is unreal. Look at that for a lady crab. That's a monster lady crab. But the prize show is definitely here. And it's a solid lobster as well. Look at that. Big claws on that. Very big claws. Nice male. Solid as well. And that one is our catch and cook. That's two lobsters in two days we've had out of here. Well, two keepers, shall I say. Because we had the smaller one. So what I'm going to do... I carry the fish over with me. I'm gonna get it baited up. We'll check this at the end of the trip again and see if we can get another lucky lobster. Another beauty of a lobster down. Look at that claw. Lovely big male lobster. We're doing really well out of this hole, that's for sure. Let's get this baited up. There was definitely another lobster on the side of it. I seen the white claw flip off. So we're going to get it for next time, hopefully. We are all baited up, ready to go. Come on, you lobsters. Yeah. Right back in the same spot. We are back. As soon as I got back to the chum bag, there was a little baby lobster just sitting on it down there. Check that little lobster out, guys tiny little lobster it is just casually walking past i've been sitting here nice and quietly and i can see there's a baby conger over here that's heading its way there's another big lobster down here somewhere but i couldn't get close to it there's the little conger just under here really small eel it is definitely not going to be a record breaker but nice to see just see him down here i find it so fascinating just sitting here watching all the live We've got a baby lobster that's just down here. <laughs> Been watching him, and then we've got the little baby conga. Hopefully this one's great grandparents are around. We can get a show of them on camera. But it's definitely a slow night. Such a strange, strange time of year this for congas. There he is. There's the little one. I've decided to move guys. I've got Larry here, all nicely in the water there. He's gonna spend his time with the bait. And we're gonna head down to where the crab pot is, because here, all I've seen is a tiny little conger and one little lobster. So hopefully over there, there might be a couple of eels. Fingers crossed we can find something. Crab pot's only been down an hour. And look at that, it's got two lady crabs in it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these up for now, and then I'm gonna use my chum bag I've just seen a lobster down there. 
There's 100% a lobster down there. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw this back and I'm going to pick it up tomorrow and hopefully get another lobster. But in the meantime, we're going to see if there's any congas here. So we've got our lobster from yesterday, guys. And here's the nice sized male that we found today. What a beauty. Cracking sized lobster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly boil this one up the same. Tomorrow we're going to have some crispy lobster wrap. Lobster's nicely dispatched now. So all I'll do, plop it straight in the water. Just careful that it doesn't start kicking from the nerves. And that's it. Give it about a six, seven minute boil and we're good to go. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. We've got both our lobsters here. Check those bad boys out. Lovely lobsters. I pulled it in the morning. I didn't get anything. So uh, these are the two keepers we had in the end. Cracking little session. Lovely lobsters. So what I've got is a nice little wrap here. All we're going to do is pick the lobster, put it in the wrap, bit of sweet chilli sauce, and on the George Foreman. There we go guys, that's all the lobster meat. Well, what's left over anyway? So all I'm gonna do, just add a little bit of salt and pepper. Lovely job, just give it a good mix around. That's gonna go straight on our wrap. I'm just gonna fill this, I'm starving tonight, so nice big old lobster wrap. It would just wouldn't be right without some sweet chili sauce. Get a good dollop of that in there. Job done. And the beast is done. Check that out. Nice and crispy on the outside. Delicious lobster and sweet chili sauce on the inside. Certainly a warm one tonight. Whoa, really enjoyed the last couple of days doing this, finding a few lobsters. We always go for congas, but there doesn't seem to be much there at the moment, but happy with this. Nice, thick lobster crispy roll. Wrap. Mm. That's amazing. It tastes even better, I reckon, if you oven cooked a lobster, butterflied it, put loads of garlic butter on, then put it in the wrap and crisped it. That'd be amazing. That's a whole lobster in one wrap. One little wrap, and it's about an inch and a quarter thick full of it. That's what you want if you want a nice uh, lobster wrap or a roll or something. Make sure there's loads of it, or even crab. Mm. Well, quite an interesting trip though. We missed, I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but uh, there was a four pound lobster just walking its way along the bottom. And twice we had the net round its back and it swam out. It done sort of a 360 swimming out of it. We were gutted, it was a huge lobster, big female. We would have put it back that big, but it would have been lovely to see on camera. Maybe in the future we might get out. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I'm gonna finish off this, probably in the next bite. 
If you enjoyed the uh, video, make sure to like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more to come. We've got a, a few little exciting things coming, like mini boats and stuff like that. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, links in the description. It's Math Fishing, baby. Woo!